Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Oracle DB Online Training. So in this session, we will be looking at how we can increase our space on the VirtualBox machine. Uh, so basically, my uh, today's agenda will be like how we can increase the space in any U01 mount point or any other mount points, which is already part of any VirtualBox machine. So here you can see that I already I am running one uh, VirtualBox machine as a production and uh, even you can see this is already up and running and i logged in, in onto the server and i found that u01's mount point is having very less space that is 15 gb so i want to increase this um, mount point to from 15 gb to let's say 20 gb or 25 gb so additional 5 gb i want to add on this mount point so so what i'll do i'll just um, provide you some of the uh, easiest way of increasing this space it will not take uh, more than five minutes to increase this space so uh, please watch uh, our video um, till the end so that you can understand also i'll before i proceed further i request all the new friends so please subscribe my youtube channel so you can find me on youtube just uh, by searching oracle db online training once you go to this channel you can find out our previous videos like uh, previously we have seen a lot of uh, learning topics such as uh, database management uh, rack database configuration installation upgradation so many things we have covered up and even though we have looked at the various sub uh, topics like patching and database upgrade upgrade as well as oem management so please uh, watch our previous videos so that you can learn a lot of things uh, related to oracle database as well as you can go through walk through our playlist also to understand different different topics such as oracle rack uh, red hat linux as well as our uh, uh, golden gate tutorial backup and recovery there are so many things we have covered up okay also you can basically enroll our exclusive membership program by clicking on the join button over here and uh, you can get get a personal trainings uh, or by contacting me on this uh, contact details as well as the email id and uh, you can uh, connect me on various social media platforms okay uh, so there is a one important announcement that i'm going to make that uh, from the first of november i'll be making starting a new batch so if you guys are interested please ping me on this whatsapp number so that you can learn a lot of things as a personal training okay so let's uh, without wasting much of time so we'll uh, start our uh, today's agenda that is how to increase the space in the virtual box machine uh, any mount points okay so what i'll do i'll just uh, i have shown you that uh, there is a space uh, crunch on this u01 mount point so what, what i'll do first thing we have to stop this uh, virtual box machine so by running the ns0 command uh, you can stop this uh, uh, server so once uh, this server is stopped uh, after that you have to basically go to the virtual box machine so still my virtual box is running just we have to wait for a few minutes once it is down then we can go ahead and uh, we can make certain changes so there is one important link that i will be going to provide you uh, using that link you basically you have to uh, follow how you can basically uh, download the software so there is a software called gparted um, and, uh, this isa image file we have to download gparted live cd and uh, using this we have to basically uh, i mean we have to increase the mount point space so once you go to this link i'll provide in the description please go through this link and uh, once you'll go through this link you need to click on the download now option and it will start downloading the file it is around uh, uh, 364 mb of a file and once you download it uh, you'll find out one iso image like this okay so based upon your operating system bit version let's say 64 bit you'll find out this file uh, in your system okay once it is downloaded after that you need to uh, i mean once the this particular server or the virtual box machine is down you need to go to the uh, setting option over here okay under the setting you need to go to the uh, storage option and click on this controller so from here you need to select the uh, gparted live cd image so you can just go to the uh, location where you have kept so by default i am using it so I'll select this file and click OK and we need to just start this system. Okay, so before we start, we need to do some changes also. I just forgot to mention that. Let me just close this again. Okay, so 
so basically what you need to do you need to go to the virtual media manager and you need to increase this value so let's suppose this uh, virtual i um, mean production dot vsd file is around 60 gb and it it is basically it has to be in the dynamically allocated fashion if it is not allocated as a dynamic option so you cannot increase it so while configuring the your uh, virtual box machine if you have selected this option of uh, virtual virtual hard disk as dynamically allocated then then only you can uh, increase this uh, from let's say 60 gb to 80 gb so this is overall uh, space that you have from which you you'll have you'll be using it for the uh, internal uh, internal mount point increase okay so this is production dot vsd what i'll do i'll just try to find out this name and then i'll just uh, try to increase so this is a production dot vsd here you can see it is around 60 so I, what i'll do i'll make it around 70 so that we can increase up to 10 gb in our system uh, let's increase it up, up 75 okay so additional 15 gb we are going to use so once you click ok and just apply it after that we need to basically okay so once you have applied it after that you need to start this particular machine and now here you can see it is 75 gb so okay so as soon as you start you will find out g parted live default settings so you have to just press, press enter So once you press enter, it will basically, it will try to start the um, operating system from this particular new IOC file that uh, G parted ISO file that we have uh, inserted into the CD image. Okay, so here it is asking whether you want, I mean, uh, you want, um, so basically we have to go with the direct uh, default options over here. It is saying don't touch uh, key map. So click okay and just press enter. And here the default language it is saying 33 that is uh, English language okay so I'll just stick to the default language you can modify as for your uh, wish and uh, once that is done then it is next part it is asking whether you want to continue using the uh, start X to use the G party automatically so we'll just press enter so now it is uh, basically getting started so it is still loading once it is loaded here you can see around 15 gb of space is unallocated okay so what we have to do we just have to click on this particular mount point and you need to go to this option which is called the resize or the move the selection so this is our existing uh, 60 gb of space that we have allocated previously i mean you just have to click on this particular segment and you need to click on increase so here you will find out uh, around 15 GB of space is still available. So you just have to drag it and click on resize. After that, you need to click on the plus icon. And now you will find out there is no unallocated space left. Okay, so just click yes, apply option. And after that, it will, uh, I mean, it will just want save the details. So we'll save this option. And then we can just uh, close this window. okay after closing this window i mean you just have to come out of this particular window and click on exit just need to press twice so that it will come out of this now it is asking whether you want to reboot so you have to go with reboot option click ok so just press enter so that you can i mean it will start rebooting the system and now this time your operating system will get started okay so still there is something that uh, we need to look into so please uh, uh, watch continuously i mean there is a small uh, thing that we need to uh, do in order to resize the actual hard disk so at the operating system level we have done it so the only thing that we need to do is we have to increase the space at the os level so now it is getting started once it is started then we have to um, log in into the server and uh, basically we have to uh, 
run some uh, command at OS level. So first thing we have to run df minus h so that we can verify what is the current value. After that, we have to run the lsblk I and mean, we have to find out what is the uh, tree structure for the um, mount points. And after that, we need to resize that device. Okay, so let's suppose our device is dev slash sda2. So this partition we have to resize, okay. And uh, using the PV resize option, we have to resize. And after that, we need to run the LV extend minus R minus L plus 100% free. Okay, and we have to give the partition name here and then it will do the extension. So let me just uh, log in with login into the server and then we'll verify these details. So this is our uh, server on which uh, we have to perform the I think this is still uh, taking time to get started. So meanwhile, I'll request all the new friends to so please subscribe my YouTube channel. You are already learning a lot of things on my, on my plat YouTube platform. As well as uh, I'm just saying that if you are interested for any training, any personal training, please uh, get in touch with me on my WhatsApp numbers. I already provided these, uh, those details in the description. So I guess this uh, server is started. Let's uh, verify it. Let me clear out the screen. Okay. So here, first thing we have to run the df minus h command and it is still showing the 15 GB space. Okay. After that, we'll go with second command that is LSBLK. So LSBLK basically it will provide you the tree structure for the partitions. Okay, so here we can see it is increased to 75 GB SDA. Okay, but still we are seeing only the uh, 38 GB here as well as some 10 GB on slash mount point 5 GB. So it is still not showing the actual correct value. It is just showing me 60 GB of a space. Okay, so now my target will be to increase this to um, let's say 30 GB of free space. Okay, so next part is to run the PV resize option. So PV resize basically what we have to resize, we have to resize to SDA. Okay, SDA2. So what I'll do, I'll execute this command to execute on the operating system. We have to execute from the root user only. So once you execute it, you'll find out this physical volume resized. After that, we need to go with sudo command sudo lsv so here we need to mention the mount points like uh, we have seen it so this is a ol minus zero u01 so it is part of this particular uh, disk that is that we need to resize so i'll i'll just have to use the same command as it is if there is a naming convention different let's suppose u02 so based upon the naming convention given over here you have to run this command okay so now we are, you'll see this completed successfully. What you have to do, just run the df minus h command. You'll verify that it is increased to another 16 GB of space. So now we can see this, it is increased to 31 GB. That means we have successfully, uh, uh, I mean, increased this space to 31. So which was previously uh, 15 GB. So what I'll do, I'll just provide uh, the link from where you need to download this software as well as I'll provide you the command that you need to execute in the description. So please, um, uh, if you have any queries regarding this, you can mention me in the comment. I'll definitely try to help. I hope you understood um, this uh, today's topic. And uh, we have successfully increased the space in the virtual box machine uh, mount points. And uh, thanks for watching today's session. Have a great day. Please subscribe our YouTube channels. And if you have any queries, please uh, send me on uh, comments or uh, WhatsApp number. Bye.